Well, Image Line has done it again. Another free update. Another really cool plugin. The question is, will it ever stop? What's up my producer friends, I'm David with another monsterproductions.com. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new plugin which just came out with the new update of FL Studio which happened a few days ago. They finally released a frequency shifter plugin and this is something that a lot of people in the community have been asking for for quite some time. A lot of other DAWs already had a frequency shifter plugin built in as a stock plugin. However, FL Studio did not until now and i've been having a lot of fun over the past couple days just messing with the plugin seeing what it can kind of do so today we're going to be taking a look at this plugin and without further ado let's get straight into it all right so when you first load up the frequency shifter it should look something like this uh, what i've got is just a serum loaded up we're just going to kind of play around with some sounds and serum at first and then we'll talk about some other potential use cases for this plugin as well but first in case you don't know a frequency shifter shifts each frequency of the input signal by a fixed amount so unlike pitch shifters where the frequencies are shifted by a factor and where the harmonic relations are kept a frequency shifter alters the harmonic relations therefore a larger frequency shift usually results in a disharmonic sound so i think a slightly easier way of saying that is a pitch shifter is always going to sound in tune and the harmonic relationship's always going to be retained. Whereas a frequency shifter, you're gonna get some really crazy inharmonic sounds out of it. And we'll go ahead and start illustrating for that uh, for you now. So like I said, I've got this serum, uh, basically just kind of a saw wave and I've brought it down a couple octaves. And by default, this is what the frequency shifter actually sounds like. So if I bring this to the middle, this is essentially no frequency shifting happening. So that's what our just our sawtooth wave sounds like. I can play it up a little bit higher. And then we can start shifting the frequencies. So just by moving that knob, you can probably already start to get a sense of how powerful this plugin can be in terms of potential sound design type stuff that you can do. So pretty cool. Now, another thing we can do is mess with the feedback and start getting some actually crazy sort of uh, modulated, like kind of dubstep sounds, so. Bring it down an octave. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. So I can go in here, we can, I mean, we can start experimenting with this in, term, like, in terms of actually messing with Serum as well uh, and start kind of coming up with some dubstep-y type sounds, like some old school stuff. Maybe we'll map the LFO to the cutoff. Go ahead and bring this down like this. Could add some uh, more voices on here. Let's bring it back down to one. Um, I'm gonna actually turn this filter off and we'll we'll keep messing with the frequency shifter a little bit. I just wanna kinda show you, you know, the potential of how you can use this as sort of a sound design tool, just come up with some unique and cool stuff. But another thing that we can do within the frequency shifter, so instead of adding more voices and creating, you know, a, a wider sound that way, you can actually do that with the LR phase knob here. So we can start to get some width that way. So potentially something you can mess with there. We of course have a mix knob, which is essentially, you know, kind of like a dry wet knob. So obviously all the way down here is like 0%. There's no frequency shifting happening. And we can bring in all the way up to 100% there. Uh, we do have a stereo option. So you could do mono or stereo. We also have these sideband options. So you can change the shape of the right signal. So that kind of like inverts the phase a little bit in a weird sort of way. And then same with the left. So now instead of, instead of it going up with the feedback, we inverted the phase. So now it's going down. You could also do the same thing with the frequency here. So instead of having the frequency be positive, we could go. So now we could invert the phase back. 
We also have some different options to choose from here. So you can go 200 hertz, which is what I've been messing with now. We could also go to 20 hertz, which just means that we have a lot more uh, frequencies to potentially use. So let's take a listen to that. Let's take the feedback down a little bit. I mean, imagine what you can potentially do in terms of, let's say you're making some like dubstep or bass house type bass sounds, and then you add like a frequency shifter on on the sounds. I mean, you could automate this. There's a, there's just so much you could do with this to, to mess with and come up with some cool sound design type stuff. But let's go back to 200 Hertz for now. We also have a different option here where you can do frequency shifter. Um, I mean, it's basically the same as the high quality. It's just slightly different. And then, ring mod so we have a ring modulation option as well and this is a pretty cool option because it allows us to do a little bit more in terms of i guess you could say gain or volume and i'll show you what i mean by that so let's create kind of like a super saw here all right so i just want kind of like a future bassy sounding chord that sounds nice let's go ahead and unmute this frequency shifter so let's mess with the frequency here And what I can do here is set it to the tempo too, and we can get like an actual tempo or relationship with, with the tempo. So that would be, make it a little bit easier to automate. So anyway, you get the idea. You've probably heard some future bass tracks where they do, you know, something like that, where it starts off really fast with the LFO and then gets slower just like that. It can be a really cool technique. And with this plugin, you can do it really easily and quickly. Let's kind of mess with some of these other knobs and see what they do. So that can be something to play with. So that kind of messes with the left, right phase there. So they're not happening at the same time. One's happening at a different time than the other. And then you can also potentially use the side chain in uh, ring modulation mode as well. Doesn't work in the other modes, but that's pretty much all there is to this plugin in terms of what it actually does. But let's experiment with some other potential options and, and stuff that we can mess with here. All right, so here's a little piano loop that I made. We're just gonna use this as a quick example of something you can do to potentially mess with loops using this plugin. So first of all, you know, we're still in ring modulation mode, so we could use this as sort of like a tremolo effect, kind of like what we just did with the uh, future bass example. But listen to this. So something like that, I mean, that could be cool. Uh, we could also go back into our frequency shifter mode and let's play with this. Anyway, you guys get the idea with this example. I could probably keep going and just experiment with a bunch of other stuff. I think you guys probably get the point though. I don't feel like I need to draw out this tutorial any longer. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit the bell notification if you wanna be notified of future uploads. Right now I'm doing uploads every weekend, usually on Saturdays, so keep an eye out for that. Also, if you're struggling with anything production related or if you're brand new to music production and you use FL Studio, I do offer one-on-one -on -one private lessons which you can sign up for on my website i'll be sure to leave a link in the description of the video if you guys want to check that out and i'll see you guys in the next video